Okay, my diamonds. Class is in session. 11 things people learn too late in life. Excellent points, which is why I'm sharing it with you. 11 things people learn too late in life. One, the less you say, the more your words will matter. Mm -hmm. Two, don't take everything personally. Not everyone thinks about you as much as you do. Three, when you focus on problems, you'll have more problems. When you focus on possibilities, you'll have more opportunities. Four, no matter how much it hurts now, someday you will look back and realize your struggle changed your life for the better. Five, you meet people for a reason. Either you need them to change your life or you're the one that will change theirs. Six, never be afraid to try something new. Life gets boring when you stay within the limits of what you already know. Seven, you will never truly know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Eight, once you begin to take note of the things you are grateful for, you begin to lose sight of the things that you lack. Nine, if you do not have control over your mouth, you do not have control over your future. Ten, life is a mirror and will reflect back to the thinker what he thinks into it. Eleven, the only person you have to face in the morning is yourself. Be unbeatable. Eleven things you, people honey. learn too late. Let's talk about each one of these. Well, the ones that I feel very strongly about. Life. One, the less you say, the more your words will matter. Two. And that is so true. You know, um, and the less you say, the less um, trouble you get into. You know, I try to, anytime I talk, I try to make sure that what I'm saying is something useful, something that you can learn from. But what I've also learned is when you set goals for yourself, don't tell people. We live in a world, honey, where people are very envious and jealous and they're haters. So the less you say, the better off you'll be. Don't take everything personally. Not everyone thinks about you as much as you do. Three. Thank you. <laughs> That's like one of my favorites. Stop taking everything so personal. Stop uh, getting offended by everything and stop always assigning bad motives to a person just because they're telling you the truth about stuff, about things. Stop taking things so personal and please stop taking something that's the size of a grain of sand and you turn it into a whole mountain. Stop doing that, please. When you focus on problems, you'll have more problems. When you focus on possibilities, you'll have more opportunities. Absolutely. There's nothing like positive thinking, change your way of thinking, and you will change your life and you will change your mood. Positivity is always, I highly recommend it. Four, no matter how much it hurts now, someday you will look back and realize your struggle changed your life for the better. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I think about things that I went through. I wouldn't change not one thing that I went through, or even the negative things. Because that's what helped to create the person that I am today. So I absolutely, yeah, there were benefits in my struggles. Thank you, Jesus. Five, you meet people for a reason. Either you need them to change your life or you're the one that will change theirs. Six. I change. I change lives. <laughs> I think about, you know, when I was in a relationship with these men, as long as they were with me, their life was awesome. But then when they had to screw up and they lost me, and this is not blowing my own horn, but the truth is the truth, and it is what it is. As long as they were with me, they was doing well. The moment they stabbed me in my back with betrayal or what have you, that's when they went down. Crackheads, heroin addicts, smoking crystal meth, lose everything you get, you get it back, you lose it again. And that's pretty much because God placed you on slippery ground, Psalms chapter 73. So regardless of how many times you may get it back, if God have you on slippery ground, you're going to keep on falling. Never be afraid to try something new. Life gets boring when you stay within the limits of what you already know. Seven. I don't mind trying things new as long as it don't go against Bible principles. Be careful. You will never truly know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Eight. Once you begin to take note of the things you are grateful for, you begin to lose sight of the things that you lack. Oh, Nine. Yes, yes, I, I feel that one very strongly as well. I focus on the things that I have, and I, I do have an attitude of gratitude. And I'm very grateful for all the things that I have because I have everything I need. 
God has even blessed me where I have some of my wants. As long as I could pay my bills, have a little money to save, you know, for a case emergency and for your up there retiring, you have a nice little savings and you money to help older people, people who are older or who have disabilities, because usually they can't give you much back. They can't give you nothing back. I'm happy if you could keep me spiritually upbuilt. That's more than enough. Thank you. If you do not have control over your mouth, you do not have control over your future. <laughs> Ten. I told you sometime I could be a straight shooter. I, I, I have to watch how I talk to certain people because a lot of people, they are very sensitive. And you have a lot of people who are not emotionally mature yet. I still keep hope alive. And the more mature they become emotionally, the less they, they're going to need validation from other people external, the less they're going to be people pleasers. And, and you just have to be careful with your mouth. And, and I'm working on that so diligently. Life is a mirror and will reflect back to the thinker what he thinks into it. 11. The only person you have to face in the morning is yourself. Be unbeatable. 11 things. Thank you so much, Denzel. Yeah, be unbeatable, baby. And every morning you have to wake up and you have to face you. That's why you have to stay positive. That's why you have to take care of yourself. You have to love yourself. You know, I think you already know how much Sheila True Love love herself some Sheila True Love. And that's the way I'm able to love other people genuinely, authentically, real. I'm a kind person. I'm a good person. I'm a loving person. I'm not nice a lot of the times, but I think nice is associated with being fake and phony, very much so. But if you can find people who are good, I like good people in my life, people who are kind, people who have the fruitage of the spirit, or at least they're working hard to have that type of character. That's what's important to me. What about you? What do you think about these um, things that people learn too late in life? I'm interested in your viewpoint. Twinkle, 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 darling.